Hello everyone, I'm Vishal, a RPA developer. Today, I have coded a blockchain in RPA. I'm going to show only the basic functionality of blockchain. Not going to show any transactions because I'm going to show the transaction later on in upcoming videos. The first stage generates a series of data like timestamp, previous block cache, current block cache from the block class. This makes the necessary stuff for creating genesis block and immutable blocks the inputs, difficulty, and chain count. Difficulty is directly proportional to the time taken for a block to develop. Chain counts decides the number of blocks excluding genesis block. These two factors decides the security of blockchain and protect your data from hackers. I will post more details of blockchain in the description. Without further delaying, I'll just run the code to show you the blockchain transaction ledger with the difficulty 10 and chain count 2. The code is running. So what we have seen is we, we got an out output called a series of block hash. So let me show you that. It is the block hash and it is from the genesis block and this is for the block 1 and this is for the block 2. So what I'm going to do now is to organize this data in an understandable format so let me proceed running the code we got a series of intermediate outputs i have combined all the data in a final output in a collection so if we open the collection, we can see the data of the blockchain ledger. So this is the block hash and this is the previous hash of Genesis block. The Genesis hash block hash will be passed on to the block one's previous hash and the block one's block hash will be going to the block two's previous hashes. The hashes is the time taken for the difficulty level 10. So let me increase the difficulty level 20 and chain count as 4 and run a demo for you again. So I'm going to change it as 20 and here it's 4. So let me reset it. I'll increase the debug speed. And I'm going to run it now. It's taking a while. So we got an output here. Which is quite unstructured. Let me show you a structured data. As the difficulty increases, the time taken for creating one block will increase proportionally. So this is that. And the previous ashes will correspond to the ashes from the previous block. You can see here ACC and ACC followed by some random numbers. So guys, uh, this is the fundamentals of blockchain and RPA. Let me go through thoroughly about blockchain and do more stuff with RPA and blockchain. See you soon. Bye-bye.